Perhaps the most frustrating roadblock to change is resistance. It can come in many forms, active or passive, overt or covert. Active resistance may be limited to a few grumpy but isolated individuals, or it can spread to those who provoke discontent and agitate to block participation. People who are actively resisting may try to sabotage the process, so they'll go around and badmouth change events, trying to talk people out of it. As discontent spreads, it undermines morale, so it's important to isolate the protesters and get them on board. Luckily, overt resistance is not that common. Much more likely, and more insidious, is passive resistance. Passive resistors pretend to go along with the process, giving lip service to the ideas. But their attitude is, who cares? They'll do just enough to get by, and assume that others are going to do the real work. What's most challenging about dealing with resistance is that the pushback may be covert or even unconscious despite complete buy-in on the surface. One of the biggest problems with this kind of change is you're fighting against inertia. Even in a startup, you're competing with standard operating procedure. Most people believe change is the right thing to do, but that doesn't mean it's easy to make it happen. What it comes down to is people's difficulty in making the change.